just wanted to go into this new year with the um with the people of God like we usually do at watch night service uh go into this new year with prayer uh I got a brief message from God through the through the word of God and um I'm gonna play a song a portion of it because I don't want to take up all the time but um and the song simply says God is still in charge oh, yeah. and and God is still in charge he brought us down through another year's journey and uh we we grateful we thank him we worship him we honor him and um I'm going to play this song for you in your hearing and um, want you to reflect on, you know, how good God has been and how he has brought you. And we just want to uh, remind you that God is still in charge. You know, Amen. we're looking forward to, to greater things, but we can't do nothing without the Lord. Amen. Amen. God is still in charge. I want y'all to understand that, my brothers and sisters. No matter what you're facing, 
throughout this coming year, let that be your testimony. God is still in charge of my life. Amen. Amen. That song has carried me for a long time. And my testimony is still yet today. God is still in charge. Amen. Amen. I want to bring a brief word to y'all this evening. You know, it's good to be able to, you know, be hungry for the word of God. And I thank God for the people of God that, that's up late this evening and want to bring in the, the, the new year with a word from the Lord and prayer. Amen. That's that's good news this evening. Amen. And I pray God's blessing on each and every one of you that have taken the, the time to uh, to share with us this evening. Um, <clears throat> the scriptures say in Ephesians chapter 5, uh, beginning with verse number 15. Um, Ephesians 5, beginning with verse 15, says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. And we want to talk this evening briefly um, about redeeming the time. Redeeming the time. Making the most of the time that God gives you. Not wasting a second, a minute, an hour, a day that God gives to us. That's redeeming the time. See, when we really think about it, down through 2020, how much time have we wasted not doing the will of God? How much time have we taken for granted? That God has given us. How many opportunities. Have we let slip away. Slip through the cracks. Because we didn't act on it. We didn't redeem the time. We didn't take advantage. Of the opportunities. While they were there. So the Bible tells us. To walk circumspectly. Okay. That word means to. To be careful to consider. All circumstances and possible uh, consequences. Now, how many of us made decisions in this past year without even considering the, the, the consequences of those decisions? We weren't redeeming the time. We weren't maximizing the time that God gave us. See, as a child of God, as we go into a new year, we got to begin to pray before we make decisions. Amen. We need to learn how to redeem the time. Take advantage of the opportunity. How many, how many hours have God woke, woke you up in the midnight hour just to get you to pray when all the activity was, was, was gone? You know, nobody running around the house, nobody, no disturbance, nowhere, no phones ringing, nothing going on. It was just you and God. How many times have he woke you up and you just roll around on the bed trying to go back to sleep? See, you wasn't redeeming the time. You got to take advantage of the opportunity that God gives to you. Because my brothers and sisters, no matter how long this, this year seemed to drag along, guess what? In five minutes, this year going to be over with. That's how time flies by. And we can't take the year back. We can't go back and get those uh, opportunities that we had. We can't go back and, and take advantage of the time that God gave us. We can't go backwards. We got to move forward. So we, as we move forward into a new year, a new day, a new hour, we got to learn how to redeem the time. We got to take into account the consequences of the act actions or the activities that we begin to do we got to think about things before we do it we got to think about things before we say it we got to redeem the time when god opens up opportunities for us to love somebody especially our family show them love redeem the time take advantage of the opportunity because you might not ever get that opportunity again 
Don't say I'm gonna wait till I see them next time. I'm a I'm a hug them or I'm a I, I know it's the pandemic right now. We can't hug like we used to, but you can you can bump the elbow or something or just tell them you love them. Say I'm gonna take advantage of the opportunities that God gives me now. While I yet live, while they yet live, and I'm going to show that love that God has placed in my heart. I'm going to redeem the time. Mm. See, if we walk into each new day, the way we tend to walk into a new year, we'll be more productive in our life. Amen. We wait till uh, the, uh, December 31st and then wait till January the 1st of that next year to say, new year, new me. I'm going to do better this year. Well, why not walk into a new day that God gives you with that same attitude? God, you woke me up this morning. January 1st ain't nothing but another new day. God, you woke me up this morning. I'm going to be a better person than I was yesterday. Not last year, but Better today than I was yesterday. I'm going to redeem the time. I'm not going to walk as a fool, but I'm going to walk as wise. I'm going to redeem the time and maximize all this time that you have given me, God. Don't wait till 20. Now, we're going we gonna, to we gonna break some promises uh, by the time uh, January 15 come along. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna eat better. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna dress better. I'm gonna I'm gonna treat myself better. I'm gonna treat other people better. By the time the 15 come, you don't forgot all about all that. And you eating all the garbage, and you ain't you ain't taking care of yourself. You still showing the same hatred that you were showing in 2020. Ain't nothing changed. Don't don't wait till hey man. Don't wait till 2022 come along and say New Year, New Me. Redeem the time, my brothers and sisters, for the days are evil. Time is short. God has given us opportunities. And we got to take advantage of them while we yet live. Amen. Redeem the time. Redeem the time. Redeem the time. Take advantage of the days and hours that God has given you. I'm going to pause here now and I want to. I ain't for long prayers. I don't pray, you know, like them old deacons did to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and all that. So I, I, I try to get a good minute of prayer in. Amen. I ain't got a sweet hour of prayer. I, I just want a mi minute right now. Amen. So we're going to pray this new year in, uh, calling on the name of Jesus. Amen. Go into, uh, go into prayer with me at this time. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for this brand new day, this brand new year that you have brought us to, God. We know we have faced a lot of challenges throughout this past year. But, God, we thank you for your divine favor. We thank you for your strength. We, we thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy that endures forever. We thank you, Lord. That for your love, oh God, that you have kept us and, and, and you have brought us by your mighty hand, God. You delivered us and you kept us in your care. We are eternally grateful, God, and we give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. We don't know what we're going to face in this coming year. But, oh God, we do know you hold the future in your hand. You know the end from the beginning. So, Lord, teach us the number of our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Teach us how to redeem the time, oh God, and maximize every minute, every second, every day that you give us. God, we thank you now in what you have done in our past. We thank you that you have brought us in our present right now. And we thank you in advance, God, in what you're about to do. In each and every one of our lives. Cover us and keep us by the blood of Jesus the Christ. And we praise you. We honor you. We pray all these blessings in the name of Jesus. In his holy name we pray. Amen. 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 I just want to, again, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us this evening. Again, I want to remind you to redeem the time. I want to say Happy New Year for the first time in 2021. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. God bless you. And heaven smile upon you. you it, it's a good thing to make it 12 months. Amen. Many, many didn't make it. But Amen. we're one of the ones who did. Amen. Amen. And we Amen. thank God for his grace and his mercy. St. Peter Community Amen. Church, I want to I want to say I love you all. I miss you all in fellowship in the church building. But I want to thank you for your continued prayers. I want to thank you for joining with us on Zoom and on Facebook. And I want to thank my deacons for their help and their assistance with, with what we're doing at the church. I just thank all of you. And I, I just say to St. Peter, bless y'all hard. That's something we say. And I just want to say bless all y'all hard. Amen. 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 All of my weeping Mary family. I want to say God bless you and Happy New Year to all of you. Amen. To all of my family, family, my cousins and daughter and 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 all of my kids and, you know, my loved ones. I just want to say thank y'all for y'all continued prayers and joining with us uh, Sundays and Wednesdays and, you know, reaching out with phone calls and, hey, how you doing? It, it's just good to know. That people are on your side and in your corner. Happy New Year. All of y'all that join us on Sundays and Wednesdays on Facebook Live, we thank God for you, each and every one of you. We pray this ministry has been a, a blessing to you in strengthening your faith down through 2020. And we pray we're going to continue on even when we go back in the building. We're going to continue on using these means of, of worship and, and bringing God's word forward so that we can continue our fellowship one with another. I want to say good night to all of y'all because I know it's past some of y'all bedtime. <laughs> I say past some of our bedtime. <laughs> Again. Amen. Happy New Year. And Lord willing, we'll join y'all first Sunday in, in uh, January 2021. Please join us at 9.30 sharp. <laughs> new year, new me. <laughs> Redeem the time, my brothers and sisters. God got plenty of blessings for you in store. We love you, but God loves you more.